Think about the arteries in the head and the neck like plumbing pipes. An aneurysm is a weakening in the wall of one of the plumbing pipes. Basically, it looks like a little balloon attached to a plumbing pipe. And that could be a dangerous condition if that balloon weakens enough to where the point where it bursts and spills blood around the base of the brain. So about 90% of the patients that I see who have brain aneurysms, the brain aneurysm is somehow related to smoking. That's by far and away the most common thing. Usually because of factors like high blood pressure or aging, <clears throat> that aneurysm enlarges or that outpodging enlarges. And it's important because it poses a risk of a hemorrhage where the aneurysm can rupture. The good part about cerebral aneurysms is they're, although they're common, two to four percent of the population may have an aneurysm, they can be treated. There are two different types of interventions for brain aneurysms. One is a traditional brain surgery where we make an incision behind the hairline, we remove a piece of bone that we put back in at the end of the procedure, and we carefully work our way down to the aneurysm and we pinch the aneurysm off with something that looks like a little metal clothespin. And in a vascular treatment, we can access the aneurysm uh, with a small catheter, usually put in the artery at the top of the leg, and fill the aneurysm with a metallic device or coils, which prevent blood flow to the aneurysm and prevent it from rupturing. Uh, increasingly, uh, we can treat a wider spectrum of shape and location of aneurysms intervascularly. The treatment, treatments are complementary, and one of the advantages here is we do both treatments, and uh, the two of us who do cerebrovascular neurosurgery consider every uh, case individually. We look at not what uh, is typically done, but what's the, the best treatment in this individual patient with this individual aneurysm in this location, in this situation, et cetera. So every case is really considered on an individual basis.